Hey guys, welcome to Subsistence. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick and short briefing on how to grow your own vegetables, plants or whatever, because some of them are medicinal herbs, some is cotton and carrots and onions and potatoes and tomatoes and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so first thing we are going to have to do is make ourselves a crop plant. So you're going to have to make yourself one of these BCU, base command unit. And right over here, it is, yeah, base command unit. You're going to go ahead and craft yourself one of these. Perfect. So we're going to go assign that. Okay, that didn't work. Put it over there. Let's try now. There we go. We're going to assign that one. We're gonna go over here and place it there. So you guys did see this circle over here? It was for the BCU. I've got a range extender right over there to make me actually extend and place it over here. So what you're gonna have to do at this moment is have a bunch of seeds. So you're just gonna go plant all the seeds in here. Perfecto. Oh, that was actually perfect. So we have got all the seeds in here. So one way you're going to get seeds is by actually running around, getting the crates on the floor. By searching them, you can actually get seeds. Most of the time when you pick up carrots, you can get seeds. When you pick up potatoes, you can get seeds. It's just a never-ending search for seeds, I suppose, and resources. So right over here, I just want to tell you guys, before you actually just make a crop plot, well, you can make it actually whenever you want because you can go press end. You can hold it in. And kind of like remove it, but well not remove it, move it. And I mean you can remove it too if you want to. Uh, so yeah, you want to place it in a way or in an area where it is going to be sunlight. That's why I've actually got this gloss over here. And this is part of the tutorial because some people didn't know that actually you can grow your plants through gloss. A lot of people thought it was just like a way that the walls, for example, the... The walls will, the glass will block it like walls and it won't grow. But even though you can actually go in it, you can upgrade it to add a glow light that allows it to grow constantly uh, indoors, even though if there's no windows and etc. But in my case, I've got my uh, windows right over here. And also the sun comes up over there. It goes straight over, goes down that side. So technically most of the day, these plants actually have sunlight, which is one of the reasons why I place it over there. Another great way you can do it is actually by going on your roof, maybe placing another... Oh, what is this? Oh, this is, the, <laughs> this is the, the roof over here. So play, maybe place another stairway over here, go up on the roof and maybe place just a small glass fra frame over it and you can have constantly sun the entire day as well, which is honestly something better, but I was just like, you know what, I'm going to do it over here. And the thing is, the entrance to the base is on this side of here, so you can see the two ramps. So that means when the people do come and try to bomb my place, they're not going to damage my plants, which is actually a positive thing. So we're going to continue now. We're going to talk a little bit about the water and we're going to talk about the fertilizer. So water is pretty simple. I've got <clears throat> some water over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to go outside and show you guys this. I'm going to go ahead, drink that, fill it up with dirty water. We're going to quickly go back inside. We're going to go up. All right, so here we are. So you guys can see our water is 27%. I want to add some clean water quick. It went from 27% to 62%. How much is that? If I have to add 5%, it's going to be 32. So it's 35% it went up. If I place in dirty water, dirty water also goes up. And how much was it? 62? So it went up with 22, if I'm not mistaken. So that shows you also that clean water actually helps more. But you can still use dirty water. That's the good thing about it. I do hope my calculation was correct there. I think it was because it was 62 from 37 to 62 to 80 something. So yeah, there we go. So there is the water. So for fertilizer, your plants won't grow, unfortunately, if there's no fertilizer. One of the things that I use most of the times is just ashes. Whenever I go to attack bases or I've got even my wood stove or whatever this is running constantly, always taking all the ashes out of it, keeping it one side so you can just go over here, click on it while well, I'm holding in shift and then left click. I don't even think you need to hold in shift. But anyway, so hold in shift. Left click and there we go, it fertilizes it up, otherwise you can just drag it over there. 
the perfecto all you want to do now is keep your water full keep your fertilizer full it doesn't have to be full the entire time just keep it above empty as long as you got that they will grow within a couple of days so there we go guys i know this is a very small video tutorial whatever you want to call it but i do hope that the, that it was really really informative if it was please make sure to drop a big like uh, if you would love to support the channel and especially get me to 10,000 subs before the end of this year i would really appreciate it that's one of my biggest goals just make sure to hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe if you want to see a similar video hit the icon on the left if you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right, and I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, peace out.